Hey there! Welcome back to Reddit Dating, best channel for cheating stories. Make sure to like and subscribe the channel for more spicy stories. I found out my girlfriend was cheating on me. Sorry for the big text, but it's worth reading. Sorry for some translation errors and the big text. This is my first post here while I've been with this girl since 2017, we had four years and six months of relationship. Since 2020, we had to move away a little because she went to a college in the capital, but because of the pandemic she spent about six months here still close to me, and we continued to see each other normally. I still had to continue studying because I didn't go approved and she had the loss of a family member very close to her. It was an atypical year where we argued a lot and we ended up at the end of the year, but a few weeks later we got back together and we saw that there was a lack of dialogue between us and that resolved. Our relationship improved 100% and I promised her that I would visit there more often when your in-person classes return. Talking about 2021 now, our relationship was fine, we didn't argue or anything because of our dialogue agreement that improved our relationship and I was keeping my promise. However, after the first half of the year that changed. Right after she spent her mid-year vacation with me, we only saw each other again at the end of August when I traveled. After that we could only see each other now in the beginning of December because since September I had some setbacks which were, I discovered a rare genetic condition, thrombocytopenic purpura, where I had to go through several specialists and exams, I had become refractory with the army, and I had to study for the ENAM, national high school exam, is the Brazilian. Selection process in which all students take to enter colleges and universities and of course, with all this, I felt exhausted, I spent the whole day studying in my room. I didn't go out, I didn't exercise, and with time my mental health was slipping away. Despite all that I still tried to see her, I made myself available in September, she said she was busy. I tried to go in October on Halloween, she said she had a college paper to deliver, which was a lie because on Saturday the 30th I asked her if she would like to watch something for Discord and she told me she was going to a party in a ballad, and I only found out when she told me, if I didn't ask I would never know. And I tried to see her twice in November, before Enum when I had finished my study schedule and after the test, but always with excuses. I only made it on December 3rd, she was still reluctant to say that there were too many events, but I went anyway. Arriving there, she was normal with me, during all this time without seeing me, she expressed that she missed me, that she loved me, that she was anxious to see me. The first day I was there, everything was normal, on the second day things started to get weird, sometimes she refused my kisses more intimate touches she tried to stop me with jokes, until the night when we went to sleep we had a conversation where she said that I was in doubt, I asked her why and what it was, but she didn't tell me anything, I physically moved away from her that night, but still she dragged me close and said I was too far away. On Sunday, we spent the normal day, when at night we went to watch series together, and she spent most of it on her cell phone, I asked who it was, she said it was a friend who was having a birthday, and after a while we had another conversation where she said she was enjoying another one, at that moment I was extremely upset, and I went to sleep in the living room, we argued but we ended up sleeping together again on Monday morning I sneaked her cell phone to see if something was going on. And I found out that she was practically in a parallel relationship with this guy since early October, I just got out of bed and started to pack my suitcase to go home. In the middle of the process she woke up and I told her that I read the messages, and I already knew everything, at that moment I started to say a lot of things to her, and she just listened, didn't say anything. As I missed the nearest bus I still had to wait for the other one, and I ended up waiting at her house until I had the time to go to the bus station, before leaving I tried to have a conversation with her, but it was more of an outburst where I told her not to do this kind of thing with anyone anymore, and that if she wanted to break up, just talk and not declare herself single and start a relationship while still with me. I came home, she had sent a message apologizing, I said I didn't, I tried to contact her twice by message, and in one of those messages I had revealed to her that I had bought engagement rings that were in my suitcase to make a surprise and said that I was open for a conversation, but she was very harsh with me and said that she had nothing else to talk about, in that, we were both ignorant to each other and ended up blocking each other. This week, by the irony of fate, I discovered the Discord server that she is part of along with this guy and his friends, and I caught all the conversations she had with him, since the beginning of October, leading to believe that she had known him still in September, that is, there was not even a month at the time that I would have visited her, since I went at the end of August, and there were photos showing that he slept at her house.
had Zex and everything, she stayed the month of November all alone at home because her older sister had traveled with her mother, and of course some messages that proved she was lying to her mother too so he could go to sleep there. Besides that when I was on her cause I noticed some strange things like our condoms were gone, she was drinking cinnamon tea, said to be abortive, and she had a vaginal infection. Also, in the messages I had read on her cell phone, the guy knew she was compromised, because everything she did or talked with me she told him. And this also explains the fact that a condom kit I had left there was missing. I feel very frustrated and disappointed, I was going through a huge slump with my health and things to study, I was exhausted, all I wanted was to have a good time with my girlfriend, and when I get there I find she's keeping a relationship in parallel, we are currently blocked on all social networks. It feels really bad to be betrayed by one of the people you trusted the most, the bad thing is that I still have feelings, but I don't want to go back, and I can't forgive her there, I wonder if she feels any remorse, guilt, or something like, I was never unfaithful to her, I was always a guy who was giving support and support to her at all times and always sought to please, I never failed to show affection or love. I had a problem with excessive jealousy of, but over time that in me was fading away because I learned to trust her. Nowadays I don't know what I do, I would still like to have a conversation with her, but she runs away from me and is ignorant to me as if I were the one who betrayed her. I even understand betrayals on certain occasions, for example, my girlfriend didn't value me slash she treated me badly, so this person appeared who treats me well and I chose her. But that wasn't our case, I always treated her well, I gave her love, attention, support, gifts, and everything else. And our Zex was really good, when I was there at her house now in December, we had some intimate moments and spontaneously she told me I'm amazing in bed. There were moments that I would have liked to do more for both of us, but I'm not totally independent yet, and I'm just a student, and that frustrates me a lot. You know, I was there for her when she was anorexia and nervous bulimia. I was there when she had mental and depressive crises and wanting to kill herself, I already took several blades away from her, I took care of her several cuts. My neighborhood is dangerous, I leave the house several times at dawn to be with her when she was mentally unstable. Sometimes, when she still lived in the same city as me, it was common for her family to travel and leave her alone at home, with no food or anything, I would go to the market, buy her some things and deliver them so she doesn't go hungry. At school when people stalked and bullied her, I was there to defend her. When she wanted to give up on going to medical school I supported her to continue, when her father passed away, I was there for her, wiping her tears and saying hey, it's okay, I'm here to help you, I know things can be difficult for you your mother and your sister, but I'm here to help, if necessary, I'll even work a shift to help you while you study to continue your dream, you don't need to give up. I told her that, and when I needed her the most, she was with someone else at her house. Edit. Well and I know she's just been waiting a while to take on the guy, because in fact they're together update too. I found out she's been fouling my name by badmouthing me to her friends. By God I don't deserve to be going through this.